Hi everyone, if you want to revise the whole of integration mastering with all the type of questions, you are in the right place. And this video series will help you to achieve that. Check it out. Hi everyone, this is our third video session on integration. Um, in this video series, we are going to study two more patterns of integration which is the fifth pattern is the integrating e to the power x and integrating e to the power ax plus b. So first of all, let's look at the theory. So pattern five is integrating e to the power x dx, which is going to be e to the power x plus c. So integrating the exponential function will result with the same e to the power x. Pattern six, e to the power ax plus b dx. So this one is going to be e to the power ax plus b divided by the coefficient of x which is a plus c. So always remember when you are doing a, a linear expression as a power for the exponential function ax plus b, you got to divide by a, right? If you have any doubt, you are more than happy to differentiate the answer and see whether the question is coming. So opposite of um, differentiation is integration and vice versa. Let's look at some questions. We are going to do 10 questions. Number one, question number one, integrating 5e to the power x dx. As I said in previous slides, you can take the constant outside of the integration. So five outside e to the power x dx. So the answer is five e to the power x plus c. That is question number one. Question number two, integrating two e to the power four x dx. This is going to be, we are going to be right. Two is outside e to the power four x dx. So you can write the answer straight away two times integrating the e to the power 4x is exactly same as the sixth pattern. So e to the power 4x and divide by 4 plus c. So the final answer 2 and 4 cancels out. So half e to the power 4x plus c. That is the final answer for the question number two. So we are moving on to the question number three, which is e to the power. So there is a integration three is there as a coefficient in front of the e to the power five x plus one dx. So now we understand the pattern. We are going to do fast as we can. Three is a constant we can take out times by e to the power five x plus one and divide by 5 plus c. The final answer is 3 fifth e to the power 5x plus 1 plus c. The integration constant will come. Question number 4. Question number 4, integrating e to the power x plus e to the power minus x dx. How we are going to do this one? So e to the power x integration separately plus integrating e to the power minus x dx. So the answer is e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. There's a coefficient minus one is there. So you got to divide by minus one plus c. So the final answer e to the power x minus e to the power minus x plus c. That is the answer for the question number four. So let me take this answers away. So question number five we are going to do. So this is again the exponential function of integration. So 2e to the power 3x plus e to the power 2x plus 1 dx. So we are integrating 2 out e to the power 3x plus integrating e to the power 2x plus 1 dx and dx here. 
So the answer for this one, 2 e to the power 3x divided by 3 plus e to the power 2x plus 1 divided by 2 plus c. That is the answer for the question number 5. Question number 6 we are going to do. So question number 6 is e to the power 4x and e to the power 3x plus 1 and divided by 2 dx. Now I am going to change the question in a format which we can accept. So the divide by 2 can become outside of the integration as a half integration of 4x plus e to the power 3x plus 1 dx. So now we are going to separately integrate half, you keep it separately, e to the power 4x divided by 4 and plus e to the power 3x plus 1 divided by 3 and bracket close. So the final answer, you can expand the bracket, so 1 8 e to the power 4x and 1 6 e to the power 3x plus 1 plus c. And that is the question number 6. Let me write that one. So this is the question number 6 answer. And hope you understand how I am separating the expression separately to making ourselves comfortable for each integration separately. Now we are going to question number 7. Question number 7, integrating e to the power 4x square root dx which we can write as without the square root square root means what to the power half so e to the power 4x times half that becomes 2x dx so the answer for that one is e to the power 2x divided by 2 plus c and question number 8 integrating e to the power 3x dx again you can change this one into e to the power 3x over 2 dx. So basically, we are going to do the square root takeaway. So square root is equal to 2 to the power half. So the 3x power divided by 2. So when we are integrating this one, e to the power 3 over 2x and divide by 3 over 2 plus c. And the final answer you can write as the 2 can go up. So 2 third e to the power 3 over 2x plus c. And that is the answer for the question number 8. So question number 8 done. And question number 9. So question number 9 integrating 2 over x plus 4 over x cubed plus 1 over e to the power 2x dx. This question, I'm going to change it in a way um, how we familiar with the integration. So I'm taking the 2 out, integrating 1 over x, which we have a ready-made tool. So plus 4 is out, integrating x to the power minus 3 plus integrating e to the power minus 2x and everything integrated respect to dx. Now, all the questions are in a good format. So, 1 over x integration, we already studied in the third uh, pattern. So, that is 2 lin x plus 4 power rule. So, in the pattern 1, we studied 4x Increase the power, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 and divide by minus 2 plus e to the power minus 2x and you divide by minus 2 plus c. If you can simplify this answer, so 2 lin x, you can leave it as it is and this is going to be minus 2 x to the power minus 2 and this is going to be minus half e to the power minus 2x plus c. And that is the answer. Question number nine, that is the answer. Let me clear the board and we are going to do the last question number 10. So question number 10 is a combination of what we already covered in the tutorial one, two, three. 
So integrating 2x plus 5 to the power 3 plus 4 over x plus 1 over e to the power 2x dx. Now I'm going to be separately right. So 2x plus 5 to the power 3 dx and take the 4 out. It's a constant 1 over x dx. We have a ready-made formula for that and integrating e to the power minus 2x dx. Now integrate separately. This is the pattern too. So 2x plus 5 increase the power becomes 4 and divide by the raised power and divide by the coefficient plus 4 lin x and then e to the power minus 2x and divide by minus 2 plus c. And that is the correct answer and you can simplify 1 8 of 2x plus 5 to the power 4 plus 4 lin x and minus half e to the power minus 2x plus c. And that is the final answer for the question number 10. So in this tutorial, we have learned the exponential functions integration. Um, study this one and we will look at the next pattern in our next video. Thank you.